Good morning, welcome to BOTV HQ, Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTV. We're here this morning to judge the Dream Car competition and the Lifestyle competition, running from the 19th to the 25th of November 2018. Just before I hand over to Alex, massive congratulations to both of our winners last week in the Dream Car competition, winning a brand new Audi RS4, uh, Tasib Hussein, and winning £10,000 in cold, hard cash in our lifestyle competition, Richard Mincham. I'm now going to hand over to Alex Brooks, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges, and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr. Matt Cannon. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer, and I last played yesterday. Five. Next, Mr. Gareth Dineen. Morning, Alex. Good morning. My name is Gareth Dineen. I'm a senior county referee, and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. I have six. Mr Hugh Gilroy. Morning Alex. Morning. Hi, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm an active referee. Next game is tomorrow night. Here's four. Mr Andy Braithwaite. Good morning Alex. Morning, my name's Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor and observer. Number one. Mm -hmm. Mr Alan Goma. Good morning Alex. <coughs> Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I've played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Number two. And Mr. Kieran Fitzgibbon. Morning, Alex. Hello, my name's Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years. I'm now a referee. And I've got number three. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to all come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, Matt, could you please justify your positioning? Yes, mine's the Red Cross. I believe this player is at the top of his jump. I think he's just literally going to come flying out to meet a header. He's concentrating on the ball. The player behind him, Blue, is looking up and is, is not challenging for the ball. He's just looking at where uh, I think believe this player is going to head the ball. And I put the centre of the ball with my crosses. Thank you very much. Next, Gareth, could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, player in the green and white shirt, I think he's going to win the ball, uh, as Matt's just said, I think he's on the top of his jump. Uh, <coughs> black guy in the blue shirt is just on looking, taking his eye line, gives me a line in that direction. He's getting his, his necks all wound up, ready to head the ball, which I think is coming from this direction. I think it's slightly in the foreground, and that's where I put my green cross. Thank you very much. Hugh, could you please justify your positioning? Yeah, mine's a blue cross up here. Um, two players in shot, took most of it from this player in green's uh, body language and, and eye line, which I felt was that. Um, felt it was a little bit further to drop into him just because his arms were still down, so I wasn't sure he was going to head it just yet, and that's why I placed it there. Thank you. Uh, next, Kieran, could you please just play your positioning? Yeah, mine's the orange cross here. Um, I felt, as some of my colleagues said, this guy's at the top of his jump, and therefore I think he's literally about to head the ball, which is why I've placed mine a little bit lower than my colleagues. Thank you. Next, Andy, do you please justify your position? Thanks, Alex. I'm the white or grey cross just here. Um, looking at the, the, the line of, of where my colleagues have placed, uh, we're pretty much in agreement that this guy is looking in that direction, in that diagonal direction. Um, I have taken a little piece from the guy, although he's just slightly in the, in the background uh, in blue. Um, I just feel that he's looking slightly this way. That's why I've placed my cross here. And that's my position. Thank you very much. And finally, Alan, could you please come and justify your position? My cross is the purple one. So, um, as my colleague said, uh, the guy in green is about to head the ball. I think he's at the top of his jump. He's looking towards this direction. I think the guy in blue has no chance to win the challenge. And he's looking, you know, uh, yeah, towards this direction. And I think, you know, cross referencing both, I think the center of the ball is where I put my cross. Thank you very much. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Okay. I think we need to get a magnifier on that eye, don't we? Yeah. Move 
that cross down there, out the way. There was some debate about where this guy was looking. Well, he's, he's, talk, he's kind of squinting and he's sort of... Yeah. We were all in agreement that this player's coming to meet the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just how the, far the, the blue cross together. and the orange cross balance each other, so that's not an issue. Nobody's, again, a million miles away. It really is the angle of this, this guy's eye, this eye here, I think. Let's go and just have a look at his eyes again. He's sort of starting to blink, isn't he? But the blue's a bit further away. He's yeah, the general direction right, around the back of him. I mean, to me, the, the player in the Celtic kit is uh, literally top of his jump. Although that, the arms are not up, he looks like he's just about to head the ball. Yeah. If, if it's too far away from him, he's not going to be able to stay in that position, is he? That's fine. Can you put the on the cross just to see if he wants the ball there? I just thought the arms would come up because you're not going to head it with them both by your side. Mm. That's my only thing. That works, that yeah. works, you see. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I just thought that he, he, he top the jump, he, he's already done the arm thing, if you know what I mean, so yeah, he's flying yeah. out at the ball. I think, both from Kieran's point of view, what he's done, he's sort of coming to meet it. Okay. So I th that, that was my personal yeah. idea, he just like, he swung his arms up. Yeah, and his neck's all tensed up as well, yeah. so he's about to meet the ball, but it's, if he's coming in fast... Yeah, I think it probably is, yeah. I mean, personally, I think that one's a little bit low and that one's a bit high, but you know, they, they balance each other up. I mean, do you want to see anyone out? But I don't think, I don't think even if we got, I'm not suggesting no, we did this, we, even if we unclicked, it's in the middle of everybody, top and bottom, but Still, it's... Well, let's put the, put the cross back over the, uh, over the white one, and then, you know, to act as the ball, and I think that works. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. What about you, Kieran? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I wouldn't want to see it further away than that, and I'm guessing you probably wouldn't see it nearer than that, so I think it balances the two of us out, and the rest mm -hmm. of you are more or less in that, around that spot anyway. Yeah. How's that look? Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Happy yeah. with that? Yep. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 1538 741. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.